Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm the Convalescing Soul. Thank you for joining me. By now, you know the routine. I'm not in my normal place. There's going to be wonky sounds. I got a crazy mic I've created myself. <laughs> I appreciate your patience and for bearing with me. We are reading the Kuan Yin Oracle. I'll try and make it a little bit quicker. Is that a quicker? Can I say that? I'll try and read a little bit more quickly. <laughs> so we don't have to endure, um, you know, the challenges that I'm facing right now. <laughs> okay. Oopie, that was kind of loud. We are. That was kind of loud. My apologies. We are reading number 27. Sisters of the Star Blossoms. I don't know why I was going to say seven, like seven sisters. Maybe some of you out there have seven sisters. Soul sisters. They don't have to be like biological, right? Or they could be. Anyways, in here there's only three, so... Is seven sisters like a body of water or something in the mountains? Is it? I don't know why I think that. Who knows? I'll Google it later. <laughs> okay. Sisters of the Star Blossoms. Oh, maybe it's a constellation? I don't know. Okay. It is good to remember that whilst each take our own unique journey back to the divine, back into divine bliss and truth, we have plenty of friends that love us unconditionally and will wish to help us find the way home with the least suffering and greatest joy. When we allow ourselves to be helped, we help others too. It is a spiral of support and love that is wishing to connect more so with you now. Group energy is powerful. <clears throat> when used consciously, it can help us expand in the same way that if you were doing any task, many hands could make light work, as the saying goes. Well, many hands make light work, too. Your energy can help nourish and lift the energy of others in a group as you are able to carry a high vibration of love in your heart. The ancient Chinese over 2,000 years ago referred to the Pallades of the Star Blossoms. The seven stellar sisters, I knew seven was important, work together as a group of higher consciousness to radiate great love and light on our planet. And they can assist you now to find the light in the groups within which you share involvement. It is a service to connect with heart-centered groups that feel good and improve the quality of your life and to be supported and supporting of such groups. And you are guided to allow this to happen more in your life right now. Solitary practice is an important element of growth and can be extremely powerful. But, sometimes group energy is an important element of your spiritual growth too. And you are encouraged to meditate, pray, and chant with groups and communities that resonate with your heart. Sometimes more spiritually advanced souls subconsciously feel that they need to carry the group energy themselves. You are guided to surrender any excessive responsibility, to assume your natural cooperation and perhaps even authority in the group from a place of love rather than burden and to allow yourself to be lifted as well as contributing your light and love to your chosen groups and communities. The Sisters of the Star Blossoms knows that group energy is give and take. That when we allow ourselves to thrive, so too can the group 
gain energy and grow. You are guided now to balance your involvement with group energy so that you have ample time in solitude to know yourself as a unique divine being. And in group energy on the inner planes, calling on your spiritual guidance that loves you unconditionally. And with group energy on the physical plane through groups that nourish you and love you in a way that feels good for you. This oracle is also guidance to call upon stellar energies that are unconditionally loving and supportive and the appearance of the Sisters of the Star Blossoms indicates that you have a soul connection that can nourish you to higher vibrational star consciousness such as that of the Pleiades. The Healing Sisters of the Star Blossoms Here we go. Light a candle and sit quietly in a darkened room, gazing at it. When you imagine that you can close your eyes, no, 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 yes, correct. When you imagine that you can close your eyes and still sense or see the candle in your mind or heart and say, I now call upon the group energy that loves me unconditionally. I call upon the souls in this group energy and I ask, for your healing presence and love now of my own free will with divine Kuan Yin to confirm, so be it. Be aware of the light of the candle and of a circle of light that forms around it. Imagine that light becoming the light of a star. You are that circle of light, a soul of divine essence. Around you there are guides and souls in the physical world that you may or may not recognize, but send them love and be at peace, imagining that you are in this circle together, gathered around the candle. Imagine that you all send love to the star, candlelight, and the sense of it in your mind and in your heart begins to grow stronger until you feel bathed with light within. Say, thank you for your healing sent with unconditional love. Namaste. When you are ready, just open your eyes. Here's the prayer to the Sisters of the Star Blossoms. I call upon the unconditional love of the Sister of the Star Blossoms and of beloved Kuan Yin. Please help me know when to step back and when to step forward into group energy. Help me rise above my fears of being lost or consumed or hurt. Help me not hide in a group either. Help me know my own light and be able to share it fearlessly and with mercy and compassion with others. Help me find my rightful place within group energy now, beloveds, for the greatest good. So be it. Om Shanti. And that, oh, sorry, that probably made a terrible (laughs) mic sound. Okay. That was a very beautiful message, as they all are. I appreciate you being here with me for your comments, your likes, and just your energetic support of watching. I hope you have a blessed day. Much love and many blessings to you always.